first Catholic parish established in Cedarburg would be founded in 1844, but it wouldn't be a cathedral. First, it was mainly a log cabin, due to the area still consisting of forests and the main road not being introduced yet to the town. The log cabin would be replaced in 1852 by a much larger framed church, but the settlers here who were Catholics were even earlier than before the founding of Cedarburg. In the 1830s, settlers from Ireland made a small village called New Land that would later become part of Cedarburg. In this time frame, the state that would be Wisconsin was named the Wisconsin Territory. Once the frame church was built in 1852, St. Francis Borgia would welcome its first pastor, Father Jacobus Colton. But around the middle of the 1860s, the parish itself started to grow so fast that the frame church would have to be larger than the first one. So the church's next pastor, Father Joseph Hermann, chose land triangular in shape. Unfortunately, this triangular land would intersect at the corners near what was then the village of Hamilton and a road called the Plank Road that would become Cedarburg. So, as a result, the congregants of New Land would have to move the original location of the church south down what is today Washington Avenue. There were concerns about whether this new location was beneficial to the parish, but Father Joseph Herman thought that the move would be. Today, St. Francis Borgia still stands on the triangular field purchased by the parish and the Cedarburg community. Today there are two Catholic churches in the area. One is to the north of Cedarburg where they have a school and the original one, this one, which is on the triangular field which is now called the South Church. But the South Church is the original one that was established in 1870. As you turn around and face north, you can see the entirety of downtown Cedarburg in its natural beauty. This also could have been why this church has such a commanding spot here in town. <music> 